Hello and welcome to Gobbledycook. I'm your host, Hannah Tassiman. Today we are going to be translating, butchering, and probably messing up your favorite recipes. The method to our madness starts with translating the recipes back and forth between tons of languages until the original recipes are barely recognizable. Our chefs Amy Westrup, David Wartz, and Michael Kittleson won't have any idea what the recipe is until after they've made it. So let's get started. First up on our menu is a nice toasted sandwich with melty Wisconsin cheese. Let's see our translator's take on the grilled cheese sandwich and see how our chefs handle this classic. Hi, David, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing wonderfully. I have never been more prepared to cook this early in the morning. Well, that's great. So you're ready? Bring it on. Well, um, what do you think you are looking forward to hopefully cooking today? Uh, what do you think might be on the menu? Something edible is usually my first preference, but um, honestly, we're just going to have to wait and yeah, see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, these hands don't cook very often, so woo. Sounds like you are perfect for this TV show. Yeah. So what we're going to do first is heat the pan on low heat. Okay. All right, all set. Didn't Next, you're going to sprinkle some milk on the flour. Okay, we're, we're already hitting a roadblock here. Um, sprinkle milk. Uh, do we have gloves? Some milk. Uh, no. Okay. Um, that, that looks about right to me. Uh, uh, okay. Well, again, sanitary purposes, we don't want to... Uh, you know, get my hands, so this is how I'm going to sprinkle milk. I hope you don't mind. Some milk on the flour. You're the expert here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, next, you're going to pour the milk mixture to the bottom of the pot. You already set me up to fail. This is a pan. Okay. There. There we are. At the bottom of the pot, add one cup of tea. Oh, okay. A <laughs> uh, cup of tea. Coming out. All right, there we are. It's it's in. Okay, now add milk to the heat. Oh. Ta-da! So now you need to boil it until dark. Oh, this is already going to be bad. Uh, well, we need to crank that up then if we're going on low. Oh, mmm, mmm. I can I can already. Smell it cooking. Ooh. I don't know if you're in the right headspace, but you, you do need to continue eating until the tea melts. Whatever that means to you. Well, we, we're, we're prepared. Um, did, you, did you know that I'm a diabetic? This is gonna, going to go over so well. Uh, David, is your tea melted yet? It's good in there. Okay. Well, just so you know, uh, next up, you're going to mix the remaining two loaves of butter and tea. Okay. Um, two loaves of butter. Ah, very nice. This is the brand I use. Oh, God. So dry. Chips was a bad choice. Oh. All right, I'm thinking this is going to be a wonderful strawberry shortcake. Combined with two loaves bread. Uh, all right. Really, this is like a half a loaf. Yeah. So. Are you, maybe you're cooking for one. Ah, that, that's fair. Com I had a big breakfast. I mean, you don't mind. Oh, God. Eh. Nice. Um. Well, uh, looks like that is the recipe. You followed all our steps. Time to enjoy. Oh, yay. Uh, oh. I have never been more prepared to eat this. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to my chips, if you don't mind. Perfect. 
Um, is this French toast? <laughs> well, um, now that you've made it and had a guess, um, I think I'm allowed to tell you that no, you have not made French toast. Oh. This first recipe should have been two slices of bread, one slice of cheese, and butter. Oh. A grilled cheese sandwich. However, oh, somehow no. during the translation, the skillet was switched out for a pan, bread became flour, butter became loaves of bread and uh, milk, and somehow between translations, to bake became to eat. Oh so. no, it was National Grilled Cheese Day too. Oh. Is that, we're just gonna let that bubble? You said till it's dark. That's um, true, that's true. I still see the whites of the loaf. Yeah, so uh, do you want to learn what the recipe was translated into? It, please. Well, it, it, it started okay. in English, and then it was translated twice into traditional Chinese, okay. twice into Russian, twice into Finnish, three times into English, and once into Hindi, French, Uyghur, Korean, Maori, and finally Swedish. Oh man, oh, and I'm so fluent in Uyghur. Well, um, thank you so much uh, for coming out and, and trying what we had for you here on Gobbledygook. The next recipe is a little more difficult than grilled cheese. This time we have the translator's take on the all-American cheeseburger. Well, hey Amy, thanks for being on the show. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing, I'm, I'm pretty excited to be here. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, how do you prepare to make food with no instructions, pretty much. Um, I just think about every day after about 4.30. Um, that's pretty much, I open the refrigerator and I just go, hmm, what's gonna happen today? This Refri will be right in your wheelhouse yeah, absolutely, then. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's get you gloved up. Oh, well, of course, gloves always. Safety first. All right, so your oh, first wait, direction. That's not how you do that. Yeah, probably have to have them on the right hands. Well, you know. All right, here we go. In a large bowl, Combine ground beef, onion powder, salt, and pineapple. <laughs> Sounds like an aloha meatloaf. I'm down. Okay. I also have the instruction for you, do not mix or the bread will be firm. Wow, the meat bread. All right, well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is interesting. So now I've contaminated my gloves with the meat juice and now I'm going to touch all of the spices with said contaminated gloves. You're the expert. Yeah, well, I am, and that's just how we roll. Oh my goodness, okay, so that was, that was the onion powder, and we have your basic salt. What you're gonna wanna do is really salt the meat. It pulls out all the flavors in the meat, and then you gotta incorporate it in there. Like, don't be gentle. Like, you have to show the meat who's boss. Mm -hmm. uh, but remember not to overmix, or the bread will become too firm. Can you tell me about where the bread comes in? Well, the thing is, <clears throat> the bread can come in at any point in time. How about I mean, now? It's, well, sure, you know what, I don't, yeah, you know what, let's do that. You don't wanna show a lot of respect for the bread. Mm. You don't, I mean, I, people say, you know, breaking bread is good, so I say, let's break it all the time. Mm -hmm. I put bread in everything, omelets, um, I put it in my baths, ah. you know, if you ever have a good bread bath. Yeah. Yeah. The starchy emollients will really get you through a tough day. This is um, <clears throat> curious. Now, we have the bread in there, mm -hmm. okay, and we've got the spices. Now, I normally, when making this, like to put uh, pepper in it, but I see that that's not in the list of ingredients. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the pepper with the pineapple. I like what you're thinking. Yeah, because it's like the not-so-spicy cousin of pepper. Um, it's sassy and saucy. And that's really what you want when you're making. So for a heads up, your next instruction is you need to divide it into six parts and, very important, do not drag it too much while placing the object. It should be big. Okay. Use okay. your fingers to smooth the object. Okay. Now, <clears throat> by smoothing the object, I assume, since this is a meat product, mm -hmm. you're, we, we want to we maybe roll it. Yeah, I'm going to need a, a clean plate. And we need six of these. So we're just gonna eyeball it. We've got <clears throat> the first meatball. Now the bread is gonna serve as kind of like a binding agent. Oh, that's good. Whereas the pineapple is gonna be like, hey, no, no, I don't, I don't wanna be next to all these guys. So it's gonna, it's gonna keep that separation, which is really what you want when making any type of meat patty. Naturally, you ready for another instruction? Heat the grill, okay. frying pan, 
or frying pan, over high heat, then add the patty. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot specify what I mean by any right. of that. Okay. Well, I don't, you know, honestly, I don't think you have to because I know exactly what you're saying. Oh, perfect. What you want, loosely translated, much like this meat thing I just made, um, what you want is a scorching hot pan. Now this, it appears, has been set to like a low, mm -hmm. or a three or a four. It's, it's pretty hot. It's okay. steaming up. It's opening my pores as mm -hmm. I'm standing here. So I think that's fine. We probably need a little kind of like an oil or something like a butter or a lard. Have some here for you. Oh, wow. So this is butter with canola oil. That's important because so, mm -hmm. you want the oil for heat but the butter for taste. It's already liquefied. That's nice. Um, so we're going to put some of that in there. Now you know it's good when you hear the sizzle. Okay. Woo! That is... Uh, <clears throat> We're, I think we're actually going to be poaching these in butter. Yeah. But we're just going to quickly place them. Do you want to use uh, maybe yeah. utensils? Maybe we could both. Ooh, yeah, let's spoon it. We could spoon it. Okay. I'll just spot like you. It. Yeah, thank you. Here we, in the cis, let's go. Here we go. Now, the instructions were to not, not dredge, was it? Um, not drag the object. Oh, not drag. Okay, and well, that's sure great. And make sure you smooth the object. Right. Well, I'm glad we... This spoon doesn't allow for drag. The drag coefficient is very low, ah. which is great. Now let's put this little baby guy. This is kind of like the taste tester. Got it. Yeah, so we put that in. The taste tester always goes in the middle, always. Um, now we're going to get a good little like sear mm -hmm. on the bottom of there. And then once that's seared, then we're going to press down. So next up, you have to cook until the pan of the patty is removed from the pan. OK. Pan of patty, removed from the pan. Yeah. And cook for two minutes. Um, okay. Please try carefully, but please do not make changes first. Okay, well that's very clear. So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> it is crisping up on the bottom, which mm. is nice. Now you do want to clear the pan of the patty. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I mean, that's a French technique. Yeah. I don't know, um, I learned that actually from Thomas Keller at the French Laundry. Yeah. We are so glad to have you on the show. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, that was an interesting, wow. I actually went out to Napa to that restaurant. I was surprised at the lack of laundry. <laughs> Disappointed, in fact, because I thought that's what I was gonna learn there. Now, Amy, be sure that when the patty rises slightly, change mm -hmm. and add two slices of cheese. Oh, okay. How, how um, much have your patties risen, would you say? Um, <clears throat> this is kind of an unleavened patty oh, at this point, mm. but that's okay, because it's spring. And, uh, you know, you just got to give it a little more time. Mm -hmm. I think that the ratio of canola oil to butter may yeah. have been affecting this. Also, the pineapple, I don't think it was like, it may have been an off-brand pineapple. So if you were to, you know, like harvest your own pineapples, mm -hmm. maybe you would factor that into the time. Sure. I mean, when I harvest pineapple, it's usually in Maui. That mm -hmm. is a very particular uh, and, and fickle mm -hmm. ingredient. The mo oh, there we go. Now look. That's the crisp that you want. Oh, perfect. Okay. So uh, next you need to use a heavy knife to remove the patty. Okay. And send it for a plate. So, um, all right. well now, all right, so I flipped all the patties. I'm gonna need that, is it a, a round vehicle? Uh, I have a plate, in fact. Okay. All right, while you get that plate, I'm gonna actually add the cheese. Uh, finally, your last instruction is to dress as you like. And oh. enjoy. Oh, I, I, I like a skirt, like mm -hmm. a tulle skirt or something flashy, if we could get something from that from like the... As long as you still enjoy. Okay, great. I'm going to need the, uh, the knife. Um, oh, um, I could I, use I the spatula. spatula. Sure. All right. <clears throat> this looks... Appetizing isn't quite the word I'm looking for. Um, it looks curious. It looks world-traveled. It does. It does. It's... It, it looks like it wants to be eaten, but it doesn't know how, I think. Wow. <clears throat> now, the nice thing about this recipe and this particular example of it is that it's a cousin to the steak tartare. Ah. So it can be eaten raw. Right. Um, it's not as enjoyable as when it's fully cooked, but... So this is more of a cosmetic crisping. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a perfect way. It's like an elevated convenience. Um, it's just a convenient snack food. You can mm. heat it up. You could you'd cook it. You don't cook it. It's fine. It's whatever 
It's whatever you want. Well, Amy, you seem to know a lot about our recipe. You speak from mm -hmm. a wealth of experience. So mm -hmm. here's the big moment. My question for you is, what sort of recipe do you think this at least started out as? <clears throat> well, I think this was like an emotional meatloaf, um, ah. which I like to call the North American cheeseburger. Absolutely, look at you. Well, I, the thing that's missing though is it, it does need to be on a bun. Maybe maybe you can garnish with a bun. Uh, while you do that, I'll let you know uh, the, tr the journey that mm -hmm. our recipe translation has made through. Um, this recipe is a cheeseburger. Um, okay. Burger didn't actually change very much through multiple translations, but yeah. at one point it did become object. Yeah. And overall the instructions changed around, including pineapple instead of pepper, including um, putting it on, uh, using a heavy knife yeah. um, to transfer it from the pan. Um, Which I guess I violated. I didn't actually use that. No worries. Knife. That's all right. Um, some instructions became simpler and polite, including mm -hmm. please. Uh, I, I don't know how often you see a recipe that I'm so, asks you nicely. But. Yeah, I'm not used to anyone ever saying please to me. So, you know, well, the I joy am of teenagers. I'm that you were on the show today. Thank you so much. Yeah, do I, should we tuck in? Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know what languages okay. this recipe has gone through. But okay. if, if you would like to take a bite um, while yeah, I do that. I, now, I normally would, would dress this with something mm -hmm. like salty. Yeah. Maybe a Vegemite. Sure. Maybe a peanut butter. A mm. little sweet, tangy action. But, uh, yeah, I... I think I'm willing to do it. Well, this recipe started in English, was translated oh. once into simplified and traditional Chinese, then Swahili, uh, then Irish, um, Kinyarwanda, Icelandic, Afrikaans, Hindi, and then back into English. So I wow. hope that informs your tasting experience. That explains a lot. It explains a lot. Um, I'm going to go open face, I think, just because yeah. gluten. You know. Bon appetit. <clears throat> wow, here we go. Mmm. Wow. Now that's gobbledygook, okay? It's not the worst thing. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show today, Amy. Couldn't have done it without you. I think actually anybody could have done this without me. <laughs> that's, that's fair. It's not that bad. Yeah? The pineapple's kind of nice. Oh my God. <clears throat> the next recipe is a Saturday morning favorite. A warm, sweet, fluffy cake with chocolate chips, optionally topped with butter, maple syrup, or molasses. That's right, next up is our translator's take on chocolate chip pancakes. Well, hey there, Michael. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, are you ready to follow obscure directions to make obscure foods? You know what? I am ready to go, and I prepared a lot. Well, perfect. Well, let's get right started. The first thing you need to do is put milk in a small saucepan. Okay, milk in a small saucepan. Milk, got the milk here. This is a sa saucepan, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And did it, how, so milk is in like just a little bit, a lot of bit? Milk. Milk. Yeah. Um, you're kind of an expert here okay. on interpreting these, so oh, use great. your discretion. Okay, I'll use my discretion. Okay, I put some milk in. I'm going to put just a tiny bit more in. Reduce heat and simmer until milk is melted. Reduce heat and simmer until, until milk, milk is, is melted. melted. And so I have a question. Certainly. Because milk doesn't melt because it's already a liquid. Mm -hmm. So is this supposed to be butter or is this supposed to be a solid? You tell me. Okay, that's great. Uh, reduce heat and simmer until milk is melted. There is one other part of that instruction which might help you out. It's Take a little comfort. Take a little comfort. Yeah. Great. Is there some southern comfort around here? Because that would be wonderful. But you know what? I'm just going to simmer until the milk is melted. Is melted. And then I'm going to take a little comfort. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That sounds to me like I should eat I mean, something right now it, to feel some comfort. I hope I'm not overstepping, but no, it does well, look I don't pretty melted to, to me. Pan. Okay, okay. <laughs> this that's, is my, that's true. This is my project. So I, I appreciate um, that. Um, next up on your project, you need to add flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt to the bowl and mix well. Flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt to the bowl and mix mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is flour. Yes. Flour. No amounts, just doing it, right? That's what you said. You didn't say anything about that. I'm just going to put that in there. Great. Put a little bit in there. Uh, sugar, you said? Mm -hmm. Cane sugar, okay? Absolutely. Sounds good to me. 
Just going to put a little bit of sugar in there. This looks melted, by the way. That looks great. Yeah. Um, salt, you said? Yeah. Okay. And baking powder. And baking powder. Great. I'm going to put a little more sugar. That doesn't seem right. I have, uh, I'm using my instincts right now. Yeah. Um, learned a lot. Um, uh, honed in at the La Cordon Bleu, correct? Where you studied at culinary school? Yeah, yeah. Um, Cord La Cordon Bleu. And then what else? Salt? Baking powder. Baking powder. Um, just so you know kind of what's, what's coming up, um, you're going to add the eggs with a spoon to a large bowl. So um, I I'll get your eggs for you. Okay, and thank you. uh, you're going to be adding them with a spoon. With a spoon. All right, so I found a spoon, or at least the thing that looks most like a spoon. I found what my... looks most like eggs. Great, perfect. We're doing well, we're working as a team. And we, we add this um, to a bowl, you said. Add the eggs with a spoon to, to the a... large bowl, stir in the milk mixture. Okay, great. So, doesn't say anything about cracking. However, I am going to crack it because I think I'm supposed to read between the lines with that uh, instruction. Are you going to use the spoon? I'm going to use the spoon to crack the okay. egg. Okay. okay. Let's see how this. All right. So it does say to use the spoon. Okay. And just one egg, it said. Did you say one egg? Um, add the eggs. The eggs. Great. Okay. One egg. Does it say where to put the shell? I'm just going to put that right up top. Perfect. Oop. Okay. You know what? I'm going to use the spoon to reach in, grab the egg shell, put that in there where that goes, grab that. I'm going to put one more egg in there because I For think safety. three, I think that's a baker's dozen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to put those this final egg in, kind of crack that open just like I learned at Le Cordon Bleu. I like that you're using the egg and the bowl. That's using what you have. That's I'm using, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing your instructions and I'm doing exactly as what you're saying and kind of filling in my own stuff as, as what, what I learned. Don't forget to um, add that melted milk. Perfect, melted milk. That seems to be smoking. Perfect. And I'm gonna do it from a height uh, to add some drama. Great. As if this were an HBO uh, Max uh, television special. Okay, just like The Undoing. There we go. Wow, that went right in, huh? And um, I assume I'm supposed to scrape as well. Okay. As long as you don't have a, a metal spatula, I, I think you're I think you're good on the scraping. Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave that on since you're not telling me not to. Mm -hmm. um, next, you have to add the chips and stir. So I wasn't supposed to stir this before I added the chips. I think we can go for it, but you do need to make a decision about adding the chips. Okay. I see Lay's classic potato chips and uh, regular chocolate chips. Um, I'm going to make a split decision and add a little bit of both, I would say, because you know what? It sounds like a good recipe to me. Chips, huh? Chips. Okay. Yeah. Add the chips and stir. Why, I have a question though, because why, why do you have this as an option? Because that doesn't make any sense to me. You're presenting this as though I'm supposed to choose this, and then you have this in front of me as a lure. This makes more sense. This feels like a question for Google. Okay, but I don't have Google. All I have is you. You're my lifeline here, Hannah. Okay. Well, in, in that case, I would say uh, to trust your gut, maybe a little of both. Okay, is well, I go. don't need you to just, I don't need you to pander. Okay, I, I'm not trying to set you up for failure or fake you out or anything. Well, I went to a reputable school, so I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe we could change your name. Call maybe you something we could else. change your attitude. Okay. I see how it is. Okay. You know what? You know what? Just because. Just to be sure? Yeah, just to be sure. Just to be sure. That's where those go. Okay. Okay, we've added the chips. Uh, yeah. Um, we've stirred to combine. I haven't stirred yet. Oh, okay. Should I? Yeah. Mother, mother, may I? Absolutely. Perfect. So um, next you need to bake in a pan or a pan. A pan or a pan. Yeah, bake in a pan or a pan over medium heat. Pan or a pan over medium heat. Yeah. All right. Pan. Pan, pan. pan. I, that one's used. 
That one's not used. And I bake in, in a pan over medium heat. Okay. All right. In on an the, oven. On in, the range. On the range. On the range. On a home on the range. Great. All right. This doesn't. This doesn't seem like I, I should be doing this. Does, I don't. I never learned this in, in training or anything like that. Um, yeah. I. I. Um, I have also not been trained to host television programs quite like this. But you and I today are on a learning experience. So I. I would say go for it. <laughs> you know what? Yolo, because I was born in 1993, and that reference still applies. Um, Yolo. How about that medium heat? We, what are we cranked to? It's on a six. It's just above medium. I'll turn it right to medium. Great. I apologize Thanks for not for... getting this exact. <laughs> no, I appreciate the adherence to our recipe here. Um, speaking of that, I have another instruction for you. Perfect. Um, add one teaspoon of milk and bring to a boil. One teaspoon of milk bring to a boil. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put this, my egg spoon back in that bowl. I'm going to add a teaspoon of milk. This is a teaspoon. I'm going to, oh, that's not, it's not go there. I'm going to put that right over there so I know where it is. It's a good plan. Okay, teaspoon of milk. Mm -hmm. Bring to a bowl. I, I, I see why we're doing this because that kind of like liquefies it all up. I did learn that in my training. Helps so I hear you. with the boiling to have I a liquid. Yes. Um, while we're waiting on that to boil, uh, do you have some... Um, Ability to hear what, what's going to be coming up next. I can I can I can do two things at once. Yeah, okay So um, this is at medium heat. You need to cook until the oven swells and the yeah. bottom turns golden Cook until the, the oven, oven swells, swells and, and the, the bottom, bottom turns golden. golden Perfect great. All right, so the oven which uh, is this the oven sure this is the oven we're talking We're not talking about a stove. No nope. Are we talking about this oven? This oven. All right, so I'm going to check out the bottom because, yeah, that's pretty golden already mm -hmm. because of how it is. I'll say. And uh, we're just waiting for this bad boy to swell, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, so the f final instruction I have for you once it is swollen adequately is repeat until the end of each day. The service is hot. Okay, this sounds like a religion. This um, sounds like something that I'm going to have to dedicate my entire life to, and I don't know if I can do that. Once again, I would instruct you to take that up with Google Translate. Mm, okay. I'm just going to give it a three more seconds, give it my final touch. I I've heard that um, uh, speaking kindly can sometimes help with the swelling. You are beautiful. You are kind. And I appreciate all you've done for me and I know that you'll be here until the end of time because that's what Google Translate told me. Ready to plate? I'm ready to plate. Anna, here we go. Wow, this looks great. This looks delicious. This looks like a mess, I will say. This looks I like more to, than I can eat. I have to say that. Well, wow. All right, so I've got some questions for you. Yeah. Michael. Yes, what's up? What do you think of this recipe? Well, uh, I will say that there are lots of uh, little fun options mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I have never seen in all my cooking. Let uh, me steer you a little bit. Sure. What do you think this recipe was supposed to be? Ah, uh, you know, I have a feeling this recipe was supposed to be chocolate chip cookies. Well, this recipe was chocolate chip Pancakes. Wow. The uh, translator app appear apparently really liked milk in this recipe. Yeah. Uh, it was obsessed with milk and made sure to include it as often as possible. As often as possible. I noticed a pattern when, when it said milk, at least, you know, a spoonful of milk. Yep. Put the milk And boil more the milk. milk. More yeah. milk. Yeah. Um, so much milk, uh, it actually even omitted other instructions like putting the batter on the griddle. Yeah. We kind of called an audible there. Uh, it also <laughs> refers to the oven swelling instead of the top of the pancake. Okay. Um, See, that's where I was confused as well because I know for a fact that ovens don't swell. Yeah. Um, I, I, are you interested at all at hearing about the, the journey through various languages our recipe took? Oh, yes, please, because I need to know exactly how I can 
repeat this recipe for At my home. family. Yeah. <laughs> well, to do that, you're going to take your uh, recipe in English and then translate it through Google Translate into Icelandic, Filipino, simplified Chinese, Arabic, Luxembourgish, Korean, Japanese, Hindi, Hawaiian, and Georgian. Oh, man. I bet the Georgian did a lot. And then back into English. Wow. Back into English. And that's what we get, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as, as long as, you know, you, you follow the same instructions every time. Do you want to tuck in with me? Should we try it? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Um, I'll use the half tablespoon. You use the tiny one. Okay, great. Wait. Wait, should we feed each other? No. No, thanks. Okay. Mm. Mm. The potato's nice. The, the chips are nice. I can taste the lays. Yeah, t uh, let me know how, how you feel about the recipe that, that we made today. Do you think that the translators are accurate? You know, I don't think the translators are accurate, I will say. This is not quite like other pancakes and you've it's had not, before? It's not exactly like other pancakes I've tasted. A, mm. little, um, a little too milky. A lot of milk. Well, a lot of milk. I can't thank you enough for uh, coming down here and being subjected to our uh, cooking witchery here. Oh, subjected. Don't even. This was fun. Thank you so much for coming on the Absolutely, show, Michael. Absolutely, Hannah. Thanks for having me. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm still your host, Hannah Tattenen, and I'm still cooking up trouble. As our translators might say, much watching for joining. Thanks, you.